Welcome to Cindy's Creative Inspirations. I'm Cindy Actina, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you a new product called Chroma Crackle. It's a new medium that can be used in so many different ways, and so we're going to explore some new techniques and fun things to do with Chroma Crackle. For this video, we will be using the following products. Chroma Crackle, Distress Paints from Tim Holtz, a palette knife, Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive, the Heat It Gun Tool, and Copic Markers of your choice. I'm going to be sharing with you a shabby chic technique. That technique uses a heat tool to accelerate the drying time and works well with 3D projects. I've used it on my paper mache ornament right here. Chroma Crackle is a clear medium that's suitable for really any surface, either flexible or rigid, including paper, metal, fabric, and like I said, I'm using it on paper mache here. The steps to create this technique would be to use your distress paint, which I use the fired brick, and I colored my ornament with fired brick. Then I let it dry, and the next step is to go in with a glue, and I've chosen the quick dry adhesive just because it dries clear, it's quick, and it's easy to use. So I've let that dry, and then the very next step is to take your chroma crackle and a palette knife, and you just put it onto your project. And the most important thing to remember is the thicker you put on the crackle, the bigger cracks you get. So you'll notice in the center here, the bigger cracks and towards the edges are smaller cracks. So it just depends on the look you're wanting to achieve, but I used a thicker layer here and then the thinner layers on the outside. And then you hit it with your heat tool and that is how it looks when it's finished. If you leave Chroma Crackle and work with it straight from the tube without putting anything in it, it will dry white like shown here. And then you can actually go in with Copic markers and color each of the little cracks, or you can use a color wash over top of it by using water and acrylic paint and a dry brush and, and wiping over it. So those will be some other techniques that we'll explore in future videos. But for now, I wanna show you this new shabby chic technique. This is a birdhouse that I've done that's and here's the roof. And I'm actually going to do the other side and the roof on this birdhouse to be able to show you this technique. So I've taken some of the chroma crackle and just put it into a container here that made it easy for me to get. I've already colored and put a clear coat of the Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive onto my birdhouse. So now we're ready to apply the Chroma Crackle. And remember again, the thicker the product, the bigger your cracks are gonna be. And just so it dries quick, I'm not gonna put a real thick coat here. And then you heat it with your heat gun. and you will see it as it dries turn white and crack. And of course where you put it on thicker is going to take a little bit longer to dry. But you can see how this looks when you dry it. And I'll take a clear up one or a close up one here of this. So now let's do the roof. For the roof, I am going to apply it like you would shingles. And I'm going to do some thicker strokes here. So that way you can see a different technique done the same way. Hopefully, you can see me putting this on here. And now that we have it on, and I think you can see the different layers here, we're going to again heat it. And the thicker parts are going to take a little bit longer to dry.
This is almost dry here. So here's a thin layer and there's a thicker layer that I actually put in and you can see the brush strokes as I did it on the roof. So those are a couple new fun techniques using the Chroma Crackle. Now let me show you a couple other things. This is just white paper and this one actually has been drying for about a day. And remember that when you're letting Chroma Crackle air dry, which is a different technique, it'll take one to three days depending on the thickness of the layer if you use it straight from the tube. So this is just a white piece of paper. I placed um, an acrylic paint in red and now I've got a layer of Chroma Crackle and you can see where it's thicker and thinner as it's drying in the big cracks. Some of the neat things that you can do with this is actually Again, you can color wash it when it's done, or you can simply take a Copic marker and you can color each one of these cracks, which is what you saw in the beginning of this video, some of the photos. And you can see different things in the crackle, like a tree or a butterfly, whatever, and then create by coloring those cracks to give your design a unique look. This is uh, another acrylic paint. Um, it's actually a, the brown acrylic paint onto white paper and then the Chroma Crackle. And this has been drying just a few hours so you can see as well where the thicker and the thinner cracks are. I just wanted to, to put on different thicknesses so you can see the cracks depending how you apply it with your palette knife. Here is A white piece of paper. I started with a white piece of paper just like this and then I used seedless preserves distress paint onto the paper. I just used the dabber and swiped it and then I placed the chroma crackle on and then I die cut it with the new fanciful lattice dies. So you can see how easily it die cuts as well and how pretty it is when you're done. So that is using Chroma Crackle on white paper. And this one here, and I placed it on thick so you can see what the cracks look like. Using the Captivating Squares die to cut it, I had a black piece of paper and I used the Tim Holtz Spun Sugar Distress Paint. So this is actually Spun Sugar Distress Paint on black cardstock and then I just put the clear Chroma Crackle over and let it crackle and I die cut it. So that gives you some neat other things that you can do with this Chroma Crackle. So in the next video I'm going to explore some other fun techniques mixing Chroma Crackle with paints, stains, uh, more using of the Copic markers. But I hope this video has inspired you to get cracking. Happy creating! Thanks for watching! All of the products that you found in this video can be found on stampingscrapping.com.